I feel like um, I'm sort of wondering if when I get home I'm still going to have admin access on the Occupy New Hampshire page. I'm wondering if anybody who's sitting here is going to have access. Um, right. On the uh, Facebook page, uh, they've already gone ahead and put a proposal on there that anybody that's associated with uh, the Free State Project or carries a gun is no longer welcome with Occupy New Hampshire. <laughs> Yeah, so um, that that's before. really... Mark Provost posted that, and there's been a lot of debate. It's been going back and forth. It's all being torn apart, but Mark Provost had sponsored that, and then a few other people, I guess he has 25 people that have signed on to this proposal. Good for them. So then how many people are here, how and many, he's got friends? People, but I was going to say, yeah, how many people here are admins, and is this going to turn into an admin war? I'm an admin. Uh, are people are just going to go in, go in well, and start and instead of admin? I wasn't admin, admin until Mark Provost the admin me on his own without asking anyone else. Yeah, that's another thing. Mark Provost got unilaterally removed as an admin a while ago from the Hampshire page and everything. He's still um, um, admin. No, no, sorry about couch. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah. So, um, so let's stick, so I'm going to continue with my moving forward and we'll go around knowing that, that that proposal exists. We need to talk about moving forward if we really want to engage in a fight about whether or not we're occupied. Maybe just let them have it and let them do their thing and we become the honey badgers or something else and come up with our own vision statement. Maybe call ourselves de-occupy. Um, that actually seems to attract a lot more positive vibes than occupy um, when I'm talking to people. There's a lot of questions about it. But I think going forward I want to focus on um, results oriented conversations. I don't, I'm not a big sign holder. I'll hold a, for a Monsanto actor and the Fed, yeah, I'll hold a sign. But the rest of my time is spent trying to actually change things, not trying to, and, and trying to educate people. Um, so outreach for me is important going forward. But I think, you know, we got to decide where, what happens when we go home. And if anyone, I just wanted to add, um, if anybody's worried about our voice being snuffed out, I, I and Travis are the only admins on the Occupy New Hampshire and OccupyNH.org website. So um, we have a bargaining chip with that. They're going to try to unilaterally ban us without consensus. Um, I have ways to move forward on that, and I don't think that we are going to get banned from the site. Who is they? Can you clarify what Mark, forces Mark Provo. Oh, he was, you, he was not uh, here at the beginning, so he oh, wasn't really talking. He really wasn't seeing what's going on. Yeah, we're going to go around. So that's all I had to say about moving forward. All right, so my initial thoughts, if we're just giving initial thoughts first, my initial thoughts are I don't think we should allow anybody to decide what occupy means, and we shouldn't give up the word. And instead of de-occupy, if we were going to try to just differentiate a name, I like re-occupy better than de-occupy. Um, because I feel like I don't want to let anybody say that I gave up on the initial ideas of what this is about because I haven't and um, I yeah and, and I like the idea if we're gonna have some kind of a vision statement that it be it would be slanted toward what we're going to do instead of what we're against I'm relatively new to this so I have no opinion either way Um, moving forward, I, I guess I would say I like the idea of coming up with a statement. That I, I think that having a diverse group like this, that at least ideologically diverse group, people like this, I think we can come up with a statement. I think we're not going to clash on a lot of things already, judging how the conversation has gone. Um, I don't know how I feel about the, the term Occupy New Hampshire, what I, we should do with that in the future. I think it brings a lot of people into it, so it's a good thing. But I think at the same time, whatever Occupy New Hampshire is, is still like up in the air. I think that I, I would personally prefer a title that was more, that really explained what we were doing here. Something that was more like Citizens for Change, or something that really got into what we were looking to do. For, I know Occupy is big right now, and it's likely that people wouldn't understand who we are exactly if we changed our name to something like that. So honestly, I guess I don't know what to do. Well, Occupy. Oh, well, 
actually, I think we're all here to try to serve our brothers and our sisters and not serve a name. If uh, changing the name of Occupy can help improve that condition, then I would be all for it. Because it's only a bunch of syllables that are intangible. And what do we care about? But uh, as far as I'm concerned, myself, I'm potential on it, you're not kinetic. I still have to work three years. I gotta work five days a week, sometimes six. It hurts. But after three years, I ain't got nothing to do but sit down and think. So you want to start looking at the gray haired guys, because they would like to get a place. <laughs> Oh. Um, I've heard a lot of good ideas, and it was your letter in the paper that caught my eye when I saw the Occupy New Hampshire, because, you know, I'd been following it, you know, for the past, you know, year or two when they started on Wall Street, and was interested in it. Um, so when I heard you had this gathering today, I thought, you know, I'd come down and give it a look. Um, the name change doesn't really bother me. It was the it was the word occupy New Hampshire that's like, oh, this is something I might be interested in. Um, which was the catch to bring me in. So I don't know if I would definitely necessarily do away with the name because for people who have heard about it but really don't understand fully what it means, it's the hook that's gonna bring people in. Um, the brand. Exactly. But you know, maybe keep that, or you know, maybe <laughs> gradually over time change it to you know, citizens for action, or you know, whatever other name you want to come up with. But initially, it's it's what brought me in, you know, out of curiosity more than anything, and I think that's the way a lot of people right now, because they're starting to get angry, starting to get worked up, are going to say, oh, this this is Occupy thing that I saw on the news last year, and now they're here, and so people are going to come at least out of just curiosity. I guess my personal opinion is is that uh, <clears throat> the group that splintered off really shouldn't have that name. That's that's my general thought. You know, the, it's supposed to be the 99%. Um, that shouldn't exclude anybody but the 1%. But I don't see any 1% here. Mm. That's my thoughts. Yeah, I kind of feel the same way. I, I missed all the drama that happened because I got here late. But... Um, if they left because they didn't want to have consensus, then I don't see how they should be able to hold the name. Um, as for us using the name, other than for branding or marketing, I really don't see a reason one way or the other. Celia? Uh, I have known the Occupy as a, a spirit of camaraderie and brotherhood and sisterhood and respect and I will fight for that to the end. Um, I would echo Graham's uh, idea and the idea that if they're leaving, they're making it exclusionary, they're making it kind of not the Occupy movement. I'm not aware of any other Occupy movement anywhere in the country that excludes people for some silly reason. So if they want to be the exclusionary ones, they can be like E-O-N-H, like exclusive O-N-H, or maybe have like a little like name they throw in there on top of it to point that out. Mm -hmm. All I know is we need a mass movement for change, and we need it quickly, and we need to talk about involving millions of people. We need everybody. We need everybody. We need the 99%. And yes, we need a vision statement. We need a vision statement that people can understand and relate to. And I would say having that vision statement is absolutely essential. I also, I'll end with a question. I, I wasn't here for the early part of the meeting, but if somebody could summarize why this group left and what they said when they left, that would help me to understand what's going on. Yeah, okay. Do we want to do this in outside? I think Ben, can Ben have some conversation about yeah. it? Thank you. Thank you.
Oh, if anyone wants to do that on camera later too, that would be awesome because I missed it. Yeah. Kelly, I'm not. I don't understand. I've been in Occupy since since somebody in in Spain sent me a protest poster announcing the worldwide occupation. It, it, I don't even think it was called Occupy at that time. And and I was searching for like three months. I kept searching on Facebook for something local. And I was like, come on, guys, what's going on? I didn't have the gumption or the knowledge to start something. And Ben started a Facebook page called it Occupy New Hampshire. I found it and was like, wow. And so it, actually, it was actually Ben and Sherry and, and uh, you know, four or five other people that started it, got together in a group. And I was like, cool, this is something. And I, and I got on board and, and just started talking on Facebook. And, you know, apparently I wasn't too exclusionary at that point because people decided that I was going to be an admin, so then I got really involved and got to know a lot of people. I mean, I got, I've got added hundreds of friends on Facebook. It was a big deal, but it's nice. It's a nice network of people, and it's a nice network of ideas. And I worked hard, especially as an admin, I worked hard to, to talk to the socialists, to talk to the anarchists, people that I hadn't even, you know, with my upbringing, I would have never thought of associating with these people. Anarchy is a bad word. Socialism is a bad word. Communism is a bad word. They're just ideas. They're just thoughts and ideas that other people have. They might not agree with me. I might not agree with them, but they're worthy, just like my thoughts and ideas are worthy. And for anyone to claim that they're a part of Occupy and then to turn around and exclude someone based on their ideas that are non-exclusionary, is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. And I I stand up against that. I cannot, that's tyranny. And and how on earth is, I hate to call out names, I really do, but I, I, I'm, I'm gonna, because no one else seems to be, to want to stand up and say it. How on earth is Mark Provo still an admin in Occupy New Hampshire? He is, a, he is, yeah! a, he is abused. <laughs> Four people that I know of verbally um, he's threatened someone else with physical violence because they wear pink socks, and he's against that. Are you serious? Pink socks? I wanted. I asked that person for a pair of pink socks so I could wear them today in protest. He's trying to blackmail. He's trying to blackmail. There you go. Yeah, and now he's he's, he's also that's right. Bring, what, what happens at the TP stays at the TP. Yeah. He's he was resorting to blackmail. Seriously? Like, I pledged to be part of a nonviolent protest. If there's one thing that will make me violent, it is oppression. Unfortunately, that person decided to stay all the way on the other side and not say one word to me. As a matter of fact, I said, hey, bully. And he said, oh, I'm not going to talk to you today. Okay. And then, as you can see, he gathered his minions and took it across the park instead of searching for consensus and talking about the issues. That's all I have to say. Thank you for letting me say it. Can I, mean, I have a direct response really quick to yeah. that? I noticed in what you passed around from the National Gathering that there were statements of how they would act and how they would not act. And one of the things is that they would not betray confidences. Actually, everything I read on that, it's almost like they were talking about things that are going on on New Hampshire's Facebook page with that one first person. It's like, we could take, we could lift language right out of the National Gathering statement. I, I think it, it could, it, it would be based a lot on what he said, to be honest with you. But that's all my direct response. Rich? Well, I believe that there's something there's something fundamentally wrong with them doing what they did and then us saying, oh, okay, I guess we're not part of the Occupy movement anymore. So, I favor sticking with the 99% and sticking the principle. And above all, no matter what we do here at, at this meeting, we sh should always remember that our actions speak louder than our words. So let our actions after this meeting speak louder than any words that have taken place. Um, well, I think you have to be careful because Mark Provo does have a lot of influence and power. He essentially, to me, from my perspective, is essentially the face of Occupy New Hampshire because he's done so much PR for it. So there's a lot, and it sounds like he's willing to get messy with this. 
Uh, I'm actually surprised that he's gone this hardcore with it because he's friends with like uh, Sabriel and Caitlin, and, who are free staters. So that's interesting what made him suddenly be this way. Um, and he's, you know, a stubborn horse, so you have to be careful with that. And I think you don't want to lose the Occupy brand, uh, especially since you want to make the argument that we actually uphold Occupy values, right? Like the consensus thing and following Occupy's own rules. And I think what you have to do is definitely make a statement and you definitely have to present yourself at actually an Occupy event, saying this is what happened, this is our side. You know, essentially make the case that this is fucked up, Mark's fucked up, <laughs> and that's it. You can't, and you can't just put it online. You just can't. It just gets because then it just people just stop listening when it's online. That's it. Yeah, I'd say occupy. 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 You have to make your case. Sorry, but you have to make your case with because Mark is is gonna make a whole demagoguery. He's gonna demagogue the whole thing to make his case and you gotta go again you have to you have to tell those same people he's telling like that's not true. Right. I think it's uh, it's outrageous that we have to make this case that we have to stoop to answering these charges on the same level. But if that's what he wants, then he's chosen to engage on that field and it's already a loser. If he wants to talk about the core people, I see a half dozen people who were here from the very beginning. I didn't see a half dozen people over there who were there from the very beginning. I didn't, I, you know, I don't have to name names. We all know who was there and we know the other people who have stopped coming around because of Mark who were also core people. So he has alienated the core people, he's alienated natives. Tactics that are unethical. Um, they did not follow process. They not only was there no consensus, they did not attempt to even give the consensus process a chance. Um, they're in violation of several, if not more, um, as we said, of the uh, National Gathering Code. Um, of points that they came up with and so I don't think that allowing the world to believe that that represents Occupy New Hampshire is acceptable mm. and mm. so I think the cohesive statement is fine there's no need to argue about it um, and you know I am personally calling for uh, him to be um, as as an admin, and I think most of the other admins are on board with that. I know very few admins there who can, can are there. They, I mean, you can't even apologize for the behavior anymore. It's, you can't even make excuses for it anymore. It's gone beyond the point of of being able to to reconcile, and, and it's just downright destructive. Um, Moving forward, I definitely am against seeding the Occupy to, because there was a bully who came in and tried to bully his way. And I, from my observation and from what you said about what happened in Occupy Boston and what I saw down in Zuccotti Park, there are forces who are trying to politicize this. And they're trying to make this about the upcoming election. And if we let them do that, it will be the same thing that was done to say, let's say the Republican Party back when the Libertarians split out because the neocons were coming in. Mm. And now what do we have? They, we have a very powerful apparatus being run by a bunch of frauds. Yeah. So it's important, so, you know, while we all want to do our best to avoid conflict, sometimes conflict is unavoidable. So we need to do it in a professional, respectful way. That's why the mission statement, moving forward, keeping the Occupy, whatever, as you guys are, this is your group, I'm not coming in just new to this, but I fully back those who want to, to take care of a bully and, uh, and keep, our, keep the Occupy because, they, because of what you said is what brought you down here. Yes. So there's the branding and, uh, and, uh, and the mission statement and everything that was discussed here should be moved forward just like that group was not even here. 
if I can just add that let's not argue about it online, let's write it, let's post it, let's do it, and if people really want to have a discussion about it, then we have a physical GA, yep. and we come and we restart the consensus process from the point that it was broken. You want to talk about excluding people, you want to talk about who should be admin, you want to talk about those things, we'll have a physical GA and restart from the fracture point and say, let's go back and find consensus and then move forward together. Because to me, that would be the best thing, is to bring all of the folks back together, find that consensus and move forward together. sleeping in the park with everybody else. Um, I spoke to Mark numerous times about his aggression and ego taking over this, and eventually it came to me and a handful of other people leaving. Um, I came back today because of different discussions and led to that there's gonna be some change. Uh, the only name change I would accept is if we were still including everybody and added Occupy New Hampshire for change. Because so far there has been no change. It's been focusing on little squabbles. I wanna see this actually connect back with the Occupy movement, stick with the Occupy values, no exclusion. I'd be more than welcome to let Mark come sit with us right now and join this conversation as long as it's going to be appropriate, no aggressive, no threatening, and keep them to the true Occupy values. Um, for that, definitely keep the Occupy brand, that's what brought us here. Um, Ben's awesome letter got us a few new people here, it is that name that got us here today, and I think that's what we should focus on. And moving forward, make a statement, don't go on to the online arguing, let them do their little thing. And in the end, it's going to show where the true values are of what this movement is all about. It uh, surprises me both here and in uh, in the Facebook, you know, ongoing diatribe that occurred over the past 24 hours, is that the people that are causing this problem are, I think, operating on a fantasy of what the Free State Project is, yeah. what liberty activism is. They, they, you know, they, they, have, they seem to have no clue what, what, we, what I represent. And, uh, and I was and like, you know, I, I never said that. I never said that. I never, you know, what, what, where do you get this crap? Austerity for New Hampshire. Yeah, yeah but by, by yeah. General John Stark, who said, "Live free or die." Death is not the worst thing. <laughs> if we're just doing responding, I think part of what led, and I, I actually think, unfortunately, I probably hold some a lot of responsibility in, in what happened because I heard some things. Some people, you know, I came out a few weeks ago, maybe a month ago, and said, "You know what? I, I've studied over the past year." What I, what, all these activists that have been activists for longer than I was and see what they're doing, and I'm gonna stand next to them. I mean, I'm already in New Hampshire, but hey, I stand with the Free State Project. I stand with the Liberty activists in New Hampshire because, wow, they're actually doing something and accomplishing something. Not just direct action, holding a sign. And so did Teresa. And she just moved to the, you know, she moved from, she started Occupy Boston, which I was amazed at. That was such a, a huge movement. And um, so some, some other, you know, I believe Ryan, also, you know, started, he went to Porkfest. So, I think that scared a lot of people. 
because they still they, they hadn't been paying attention. They'd just been doing their own thing and not really looking at they, they you know like I said at first we were scared that the Free State Project was going to co-opt Occupy. Remember? I mean we were all like, oh my gosh, we got to stop this. Uh, and, and and that wasn't what it was. And I actually found that out and you know made my public statement. And then from from the beginning, I think, and again, I'm not trying to, to I really don't care about Mark as a as a person. Great, he's here. Glad. I, I don't care. So don't think. I, if he was acting differently, I wouldn't even be, be naming him. But there's been some things that have come to light where he's been abusive to Sherry, to you, to uh, Alva, to you, to to you, to to you, to me. <laughs> so I mean, come on. And and why has no one? S so so for someone that takes their identity from, because he has been so active and he feels. I have felt for a long time that he gets power feelings from it. That's why he is so forceful in his way. He, he draws on, and this is again my humble opinion. Um, but he, he gathers gathers power and, and, and feeds off of it. And, and I know power can be addicting. I mean, it, you know, it, it, it can feel good. Go ahead. Me leaving him is taking probably half of his power. I'll can honestly I, say that. Can I make a suggestion? We could start with that pad of paper and go around, and if people will sign their name with either one, um, they are not a free stater and feel like Mark's actions alienated them, or two, they were a core occupier here from the beginning and feel like his actions have alienated them. If you belong to one of those two groups, you are not a free stater or you are a core occupier, and you feel that you've been alienated by his actions, I think you would be, while we have people here, we can sign up and... And because, you know, all of this generalizing is not helping, you're going to have to list specifics and then say, this is what happened and now we're going to move on. As much as I don't object to that happening, I'm completely okay with that. I don't want this to get on, okay, let's all start hating on Mark Provost because we all know every dickheadish thing he's done and is going to do. Right. Um, I think we do still need to concentrate on moving forward and what are we going to do, not what's wrong. I agree. I feel like we have to mount some sort of a yeah. defense. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't object because to this, there's going to be people that are online sure that aren't going to have seen forward. what happened. Yeah. Right. As long, I think pretty much what Chris is saying is long, we shouldn't make this like an anti Mark Provost movement. As long as we're still doing our own thing at the same there has time, to be moving forward it's, on it's good to do this as well. Yeah. Absolutely. Can I add something? Um, it's this is all kind of cliche, but it, it came to mind um, when somebody shows you who they are, believe them. <laughs> that's that's the first thing. Um, I've also heard that the truth shall set you free. The truth has been revealed here. You are now free to pursue, as far as I can see, what you need to do. Turn your negative from him into positive passion here. I mean, everybody's vented, everybody said their piece. You may not change, I don't know this person, you may not change him, he's gonna do what he's going to do. But if he's going to continue to do it, someday he will get tripped up along the way and he will be his own worst enemy. But you need to do what you need to do. And another little cliche comes to mind that there is a time to speak and a time to be silent. And sometimes it's best to be silent and let the cards fall as they may and see what comes of it. But turn your negative into a passion to hear for positive. I, the one, one question I have is, it's, I, I really could care less about Mark, Is but what about the 15 to 20 people that followed him over there? And wh where do they stand on this? And why did they follow him? And, and I was kind of, I mean, I don't know if anybody here wandered over there and was a, you know, you've dropped at all, but I mean, I just, like this, this is gonna handle that. This, this course of action. Because again, I, in order to move forward, I'm calling for let's not argue about it on the internet. Let's get together, GA, and go back and find consensus. And that's where we reconnect with those people and do find out address what, what we need to do. Do we address the gun issue? No. 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 Do we address it? In this, in this it thing? No. That's why some of the people were here. No. You, you address the issue that cons the uh, uh, ignoring consensus. Yes. Consensus. Yeah. Ignoring consensus and being exclusionary is the issue. Right. Yeah, no, I like the right. after we get our the, some yeah. of the people who left left because right. the gun was coming back. I'm, I'm just well, how do you expect to find consensus? 
gun issue was talked about well, for hours and right. hours and we agreed upon that we're not going to talk about it anymore. And that was, you know, October. Well, if that was consensus, that was consensus. That, that was one of okay. uh, the original GAs was about guns and that, you know, rights were going to be taken away from people in the General Assembly. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure that Mark has that on tape. As long as uh, J.P. Morgan's not making guns, I, I don't see the issue with discussing it's on Occupy Wall Street at all. Yeah. Guns have nowhere to be discussed here. Okay. Do you guys want to call another meeting so that we can have a next step as we're sitting here trying to get um, Well, how about if we come up with a statement? Yeah. Like, everybody is wishing that we could have a statement. Yeah. What if we came up with a statement and then proposed a GA to offer the statement up for um, consideration and see if we can get consensus from Occupy New Hampshire. So, like, what if we, we had have a, a date in mind when we put the thing out? Just say, here's our statement. We're going to be meeting on this day to move forward with trying to make this our, our Occupy New Hampshire's reality or whatever. Yeah, I don't know. And then just put a date on the bottom. Do you guys want to put a date now to put at the bottom of that? Does that sound cool? All right, so when, is, when do you guys think and where should we have this next gathering? Are we going to have to go, well, I guess it's going to depend on, on the response. Are we going to have to go to Manchester to a, a GA that's there? We would, call our, we would just call it wherever we want it and just have it, I would think. I don't, I'm not going to defer to Manchester for a bucket piece of toilet paper, never mind where we have our GA. <laughs> so, um... Two weeks I, from now, right here. You want to do two weeks from now, right here? Uh, two weeks from now, right here, I'll be at Nonviolent Direct Action Training. Um, what about the first weekend in August? No, I'm gone. Does, you're gone? I'm gone the first weekend in August, yeah. I won't be back. What about next weekend? Thank you. I'll be around. Should we start meeting weekly? Because yeah. I'm going to be going for a lot of those weekends. I'll be around next weekend. Alright, so next week, where do you want to leave? Uh, where is the most number of occupiers live? Uh, I don't know. That's a tough one. Oh. Does, does Concord work for everybody? Is Concord really inconvenient? Where are you coming? You, know, you live, yeah, you live okay. like 10 minutes away from Okay, that works for Yeah, and I live in Concord. Oh. So. so, there's Concord, where do you, do you want to just meet here? Or do you want to pick a different, an actual location? Or I will get in touch with Unitarian University's church and see if we can use their space. And um, if we can, we'll put it on the we'll put it on the um, announcement that we'll have the next GA next weekend at the Unitarian Universalist Church. And where's the church would be makes sense more okay. have on Saturday then? Yeah. Yes. So I'm gonna oh, I'm okay, so, oh just by the way I'd like to suggest a name for the group if I could. You're not really out to occupy New Hampshire or Boston or Maine. What you're out to do is help the beings and the people that are living there. So why don't you call yourselves Occupy Humanity? Because that's what you're really trying to do. Thank you. If we were able to uh, coordinate with all the other fragmented Occupy groups around the country, I think that would be a good idea. I don't know how many other fragmented ones there are, though. Every single Occupy group is fragmented. I spend my time calling people nationally on Occupy. Every single occupation is having not about guns. Yeah. It could be a result of agent, uh, agent fuck which are related to agent provocateur. Oh, agent provocateur. Oh. Agent provocateur. Uh -huh. Do you know that provocateur yeah. starts with the same four letters? <laughs> I did that last night. I did ask if he was going to be a How about this for a, a statement? Uh, a statement from us. God riddance! <laughs> <laughs> well, probably like the first thing on our statement ought to be all are welcome or yeah, something yeah. like yeah. that. Yeah. You know? Right. All are I welcome. Mean, how are we gonna... Your post about maybe not wearing our guns that started the whole thing and that my yes. response to you and Matt, I was the first person. Matt Lawrence sent me a post that an anonymous person had requested that we not bring guns to the General Assembly because they would block and leave the movement. 
do it. What? Well, we watched him make the movement and we showed up with guns. Uh, well, you, would, you worded it differently, but you said that they were they wouldn't be able to participate. Right, they wouldn't be able to come. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and now but, it's but I mean, blocking. You know, oh, yeah. But that's a little stronger statement. Block block block. Yeah, blocking is... I was there in Manchester. So I'm sorry. Go ahead. I just wanted to say what we need is a strong but inclusive statement. It's not that everyone is welcome. Everyone is welcome who will accept that statement. We, we, we make the, we decide what the right positive statement for change is, and we don't make it in a sectarian way that excludes people. We make it though a broad but strong statement. It's a hard line to draw, and then it self-selects. Those who support that will come. Those who don't support that won't come. Oh, mm. just the thing. If um, if the whatever group that wants to be called decides to have another meeting, I, I don't think anyone here should feel afraid of going and joining that. Yeah. If you go and choose and try to take part peacefully, and they choose to kick you out for whatever reason, if it's voicing your opinion, then that's something even more to know. That's something that will just even go even further to show exactly what they're about. All right, so at this point, um, does anybody, should we maybe converge upon Panera to write this statement or something? All right. Converge Any where? Maybe, I don't know, I just said Panera because it was How about if of. we, um, do we have any extra of this stuff? Oh yeah, thanks. What if we let everybody... We should write Mark Provost a thank you note for the poster board and the markers. <laughs> yeah. Oh, was that right. Mark or Matt Lawrence? Yeah. What if everybody were to write, you know, like something they think would be good for the statement, and that way, if you can't make it, if we can't all go down and physically write the statement together, everybody has their ideas for us to use. Yeah. Right. And then we can bring it back. To memorialize and see what it. Else we that way, it's like notes. We take notes on what everybody would like to have in the statement. And figure out the best way to put it be brief and be to, seated. I've got an idea. Does anyone have a, like a place for us all to go nearby, like a house or something? So I've been involved with I'm really the happy to Occupy to movement response. peripherally. I've been very supportive of the movement as a whole, even if I don't agree with all of the actions or statements of all of the members. I think I see it as a very good thing to pull the 99% together against corporatism and fascism and all those other isms that we that are oppressing us. So as a free stater, one who joined the Free State Project and moved to New Hampshire in 2007 to find more freedom, I I was invited to come to this meeting today uh, spontaneously, and I didn't even know what it was all about. Uh, Dan stopped by and said, come on down, and we'll, there's a, an Occupy General Assembly meeting. And basically I said, okay, and I got dressed and <laughs> I was on my way. When I got here, the first thing I saw were a couple of signs denouncing free staters. One of them said that free staters are an invasive species, and the other one said something about free staters practicing austerity, whatever that means. And I thought, wait a minute. I thought we were supposed to be here in solidarity against the big bad corporations, the Republicrats, Obamni, uh, the war on drugs, the war on the phony war on terror, the you name it, the that power, the Northern Pass. I mean, isn't that what the issues are? Isn't that what we're supposed to be here for? So the next thing I knew, free staters, and that term wasn't defined, by the way. What is a free stater? Uh, there are people calling people free staters who aren't free staters. 
Yeah. It's written on my rap sheet. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's on your rap sheet. You were, were you born in New Hampshire? I was born in New York, but I've been here since 98. No, no. Okay, you've been here for a long time. Long before there was ever Free State Project, so it's kind of insulting. If, for people to use that as a pejorative term, when they don't even know who it is they're talking about, it just doesn't seem to make sense. And uh, anyway, and so next thing I knew, we've got people that I know that I'm familiar with, who were not hostile, that, and we we're kind of, kind of gathering together and forming little groups, and I'm and I'm wondering aloud, what's going on here? If if, if we're not welcome, what are we even doing here? Like, how quickly any, into uh, was there any semblance of an official meeting no, of everybody no, together no, before no. the split? No. What happened was, and there was a, there were these, there were people like here. Even you, you were here at this meeting. Everybody's uh, open, friendly, uh, not talking over each other, respecting uh, uh, differences of opinion, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. That's the kind of thing I would expect to find at an Occupy meeting. So, for these individuals to have this look on their face, you know, like they're just looking, they're just full of hatred, and ad they're, they're taking this adversarial approach, which seemed to me completely the opposite of what I would expect. I don't believe so, no to find at an Occupy meeting. And then, at that point, this this guy, I guess this Mark character that everybody's been talking about, I don't even know who he is. This is my first time, this is my first impression, and it's not a good one, of those individuals who basically said, if you're one of them, you're, you know, stay here, leave your guns, we're going over there. And next thing you know, uh, almost half the group uh, split off and went over in that direction. So it left the rest of us scratching our heads wondering many of the things that I just talked about. And um, yeah, I don't know how to conclude this except to say that the actions of those individuals are rather reprehensible. And and those calling themselves occupiers really ought to be ashamed of themselves. So you don't feel they much represented the 99% today? Well, I don't see 99% of the people in this country acting that way. So of course not. No. We're, we're all 99%. We're supposed to be fighting the, the 1%, the oligarchy, right? The, the the government and their corporate buddies. Right? I'm going over at Dos Amigos here. If you're... All right. I'm right behind you. All right. Well, I guess I must be one of the problems. I went to Did that answer your question? Yeah. It did. Okay, very good.